the of a shallow angle with glaucoma you can see a pi here now we will discuss how to approach a patient with a glaucoma the trick here is to avoid having intraocular pressure rise the ac is very shallow so we make a little long tunnel here now the all the endeavors in glaucoma or you could have seen uh, there was a shallowing of the sudden shallowing of the anterior chamber that's due to the fact that we have also given the patient uh, manitol preoperatively but these chambers will tend to collapse off and on we ko the beta needle se karenge so since this is a shallow chamber i will change the strategy and uh, use a cystitome remember not to over pressurize these eyes because they are already compromised optic nerves and you can land up in problems number 1 number 2 due to increase of intraocular pressure there can be a tendency for the rexis to run out in these patients we notice that uh, the capsule is the chamber is totally shallow the chamber is totally shallow it keeps collapsing we can use a uh, sodium halonate in such cases now the rex is also has to be a decent size rex is because we want the procedure to be swift while doing rex is in patients who have a tendency for chamber shallowing you have to remember that you know the needle while doing the caps the capsulotomy is not lifting up the the corneal lip because that tends to make the chamber shallow I'm going very slow because there's an increase in doctor pressure of the patient, especially on dilatation. We did end up making a little smaller exit than we desired. Now, since the exit is small, we should do it. it's going to be a tricky case because the chamber is shallowing again and again so we have to visco now since my rex is small and uh, chamber is shallow i'll do a bimanual rotation of the nucleus use a sinski and a lester's manipulator and see if we can rotate yes we can don't endeavor is to shorten the surgical process and also have a reduced intraocular pressure of the surgery now if you will notice i made slightly increased uh, size of my side port because the reason being i want some kind of leak at my will whenever i want since it's a little soft cataract i will reduce the tip exposure here now here we go now lift the corneal wound as we enter now we have to debulk the nucleus you notice i am dipping my corneal wound and there is an outflow of the fluid it doesn't matter if there is a little bit of rs incarceration into the side port we can live with that so we create a chop now the thing is that whenever you have an occlusion in these cases i don't want the intraocular pressure to rise because whenever there is an occlusion of the second tip the pressure rises so when you have an occlusion after some time give a break there i've given a break corneal vitreous i'm going in steps you will notice there i'll stop again give a little burst stop i don't want the intraocular pressure to be high for a long time again the fluid is off totally why well, have an occlusion and i chop I call this slow motion fake. Again, fluid is off. Fluid is off. Fluid is off. You can hear the sound of the machine. I switch off the fluid off and on in between. And sometimes it's a good idea to have a little leak also in the sleeve because it whenever there's an increased pressure, it acts as a valve. Now, as you will see, I will slowly decompress and come out. You can see the chamber has become totally shallow. 
लाइट को देखिएगा मैम इसको नाउ अगेन वाइल डूइंग द इरिगेशन एस्पिरेशन होपफुली देर शुड बी सम रिडक्शन ऑफ इंटरनल प्रेशर द पेशेंट हैज बीन गिवन 300 हंड्रेड एम एल ऑफ मैनेटॉल प्रायर कमिंग टू द ऑपरेशन थिएटर Excess is small here. The reason I did not want to make larger excess for the fear of it running out, because whenever the intraocular pressure is rise high, all the vectors of the excess are of extending out. So the endeavor is to keep the capsule flat as much as possible. You will notice I will keep dipping my side port so as to keep the constant flow of fluid. That IOP shouldn't go up. So whenever I feel that I'm going to be stopping my, <coughs> it's a bit tricky to operate such cases because as it is I'm operating in a low bottle height. Patient has a compromised advanced glaucomatous optic nerve. Light को देखेंगे मैं. and there you are you can see there is a raise in torque your pressure release the pressure slowly never over pressurize even with a viscous elastic so even for putting in the iol you can see it's hypotonic i'm not increase the pressure so much right ke dekhte rahiye na bahut badhiya So the trick is to have a swift, fast surgery, not have a constant elevated intraocular pressure. Have the side port act as a wall, which can work at your discretion. You can dip it or lift it to cause some fluid egress and reduce the intraocular pressure. Give the patient mannitol prior to surgery. So once again, while removing my viscous elastic, you can notice we can dip the side port and. Now another thing to be kept in mind is make sure to remove all the visco elastic. Using a cohesive visco elastic also can be helpful in doing such cases, especially for doing capsular excess. But somehow I feel the rise of intraocular pressure uh, while putting the cohesive visco elastic during the capsular excess, in my opinion, is slightly higher. So I use a methyl cellulose in these cases, and there you are. Now even while hydrating the wound, make sure that the IOP doesn't go up. the chamber is very shallow i will not leave the eye very globe very tight i will leave, leave a little bit of hypotonic eye there there you are surgery is over